Hello, I'm Jane and I'm coming to you today from my studio here in Sheffield. One of the questions that gets asked a lot is what is a good sewing machine for somebody who is starting out with patchwork and quilting? Now, depending on who you ask, you'll probably get as many answers as the people that you ask. I think we all tend to get our favourite brands that we enjoy. We have different needs, so different machines will suit different people. It can be difficult to know when you're starting out whether it is worth the expense um, to go on and buy a more expensive machine. If you don't really know if you're going to like it or continue with it, it is a big expense to be paying out if it's not going to be something that you're going to enjoy. Now, a lot of uh, people that uh, I've taught in the past that are just starting out, they were just testing the waters. They wanted to see um, whether they're going to enjoy it, whether it was something that they'd take to, whether it was something they're going to invest in time doing. Um, and they had a budget that um, didn't allow them to spend a huge amount until they were very sure of what they wanted to do in the future. So a machine that a lot of people have used is the Brother LS14, which is a very good basic machine. Now if you're going to use your machine for quilting, you're going to need a um, piece in foot for your quarter of an inch seam. You are going to want a walking foot to do your straight line quilting and a free motion foot as well if you're going to do free motion quilting. And that can add a lot of expense onto the initial outlay of a machine. What I did when I first started, I wanted a machine that would give me the tools that I needed for um, sewing and for quilting, but that wasn't going to be a huge expense. Um, at the time, I was on my own with two boys and there were lots of expenses going out. And of course, um, it was a bit of a luxury for me to get that machine. But the machine I chose at the time came, it was a, um, particularly for quilters, so it came with the piece and foot, the walking foot, free motion foot as part of the package which saved a lot of money. So let's show you um, the machine that I got first. So mine was a Toyota Quiltmaster, um, the table for it is over there. I still have it here in the studio so it's here if I need to use it as a spare. It was a brilliant workhorse. Now, different people have different um, opinions of the um, Toyota machine, but I can honestly say that this uh, machine did so much for me. At the time I got it, I think it was part of a deal, but because I had the extra feet that came with it as well, it made it good value for money, and it was did everything that I asked for it. So quilts and bags, I've done it all on here. Now this particular model I don't think is available anymore but um, have a look around and see if they've got something similar. Um, that's lasted me for a good number of years. Um, as an asset, it's still here in the studio as a spare um, and it will probably get used in some workshops if needed um, if we get too many people in that uh, don't have a machine with them. So that was my starter machine for when I started patchwork and quilting and as I said it did last a long time. Setting up the studio ready for classes, I had to think then of what machines was I going to get um, for people that are coming in, bearing in mind that some of these would have never sewn before, that have never done quilting before, so I wanted something that was going to be easy enough for them to use, that would be stand up to the test of being used a lot, and would have also, again I was thinking of the expense, it came with the package of the feet that you would need for quilting. So what machine did I get? So the Janome 6019 Quilters Companion, the, I've got two of these here in the studio that I use for classes. Again, it was particularly because of the feet. Um, if you're thinking about getting a walking foot, um, you're looking at sort of probably about £50. So if I could get a deal where they came with the machine, it was going to give me value for money. This 
was a machine that I hadn't tried before, but I'd heard a lot of good things about the make. It's a bit more expensive than you probably go to for a starter machine. Um, I think it was, sort of, I think it was under three hundred pounds, but uh, so it was probably just outside of that starter range. But if it's something that you'll know that you're going to enjoy and would like to keep going, it is a good starting place to go. I've used it at home, um, so when I moved into the studio I wanted a machine at home, um, so that was at home and I put um, some replacement cushion covers on there, um, so it's been a good, I know it stitches well. The machine here, that I use it again in the studio because we've got a zigzag on here, I do have another machine that I use for my quilting that is only a straight stitch machine, um, which is a semi-professional machine, so um, for projects that, for um, applique or when I'm joining in batten pieces together, it's useful to have that zigzag function, um, so I've used it for um, applique as well. So it's just nice to have some of those stitches there. Probably a lot of the time wouldn't use all the stitches. Um, it's not as complicated as some machines, so it still has that simplicity of use, but it does the job. So those are the machines that I would recommend for um, those just starting out. You can see behind me my Juki, which is the one that I really love using, which is um, not one that you would probably set out to buy when you're starting out. This is one that you want to know when you're serious about quilting and that you're going to do a lot of it. But I really do enjoy that. Saying that, it doesn't mean that I don't enjoy using the Janome when I go to classes. I take it with me and it's uh, one that I can use and students can use as well. I know you've probably got your favourite machines and ones that you would recommend. Put um, your recommendations in the comments below. I'd love to see them. It would be very nice to try out all the different machines that they, there are to give a proper comparison about that, but that's not an opportunity that's open to most of us. So I can only speak about the machines that I've had experience of and give you the um, benefit of my experience with them. For those of you that have tried other machines that you can recommend, those comments in the um, below will be invaluable. I'm sure many people will find those useful. If you have any other questions that uh, you would like answering with regard to um, patchwork and quilting, especially if you're just starting out, do drop me a line and I'll be back soon with uh, some more answers and some more hints and tips. Make sure that you've subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit the bell, that means you'll get notifications when new videos are available. And I'll be back to speak to you very soon. In the meantime, do take care. Bye for now.